unveiled so many limiting beliefs. Like I've been trying to like figure out what it is that's like keeping me feeling so stuck. I'm sure a lot of us are in this season because this pandemic sucks! Wow, I did not think I was gonna cry. Hey you guys, good morning. Sorry about this wire, kind of odd. But I threw this outfit together. It came with shorts, but this was actually my mother-in-law's. I have a lot of her clothes that I wear, so they're 100% vintage and I'm just really in love with like 80s and 90s clothes. She let me go through all her stuff. And so I'm really thankful that she did because 80s and 90s fashions are literally coming back around at just the perfect time. But I have a doctor's appointment, physical therapy. Oh, why am I so out of breath? <laughs> so I just got ready for that. It's a little bit extra for the doctor, but I haven't gotten ready in a long time. So I don't know, I'm just bored with wearing nothing cute. So it's just the makeup. <laughs> what? Kissy ribs. You got lipstick on you now. Need to eat something real quick. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna update you guys on some stuff today. Lots of things that have been going on <laughs> in this little head of mine, so. I'm literally gonna have to scarf this down, but it's my own recipe, creamy beef tortellini that I've magically whipped up and is our new favorite. My breath is gonna be bad. Good thing I'll be wearing a mask. <laughs> then I'll have a little strawberry dessert. And. I also realized, as much as I love these shoes with this outfit, I'm not about to go ruin these in this disgusting Wisconsin weather we're having. <laughs> so we're taking these off and I'm gonna probably put on my knee-high heeled boots instead. We gotta go! I love your outfit! Can you brush your hair for me, please? We gotta go! My breath is about to be so offensive. You done played yourself, Liz. You done played yourself. What? Well, that never happens. Not anymore. Guess I'm carrying her. <laughs> and you had to have some too. Not yet. Not yet? Oh, you look so cute. <laughs> of course. Yes, I have to come in your hair Okay. I how I did the other one. 
guys hello I want to pick up the camera really fast not even thinking about it because I have <laughs> recently I might have broccoli in my teeth because I'm like snacking on broccoli right now but I've been thinking about like some of the mental blockages and like things that hold me back from just picking up the camera I mean it's so many things like because I normally look like this and my house looks the way it apartment looks the way it does, which I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna go on a longer spiel about that once I'm like ready for the day and I've eaten something. But I'm going to tell you like raw and real stuff. Like I know us as moms, we put so much pressure on ourselves, but I'm doing, I'm doing internal work to remove that pressure from myself because <laughs> This pandemic has like put me into survival mode in so many ways and I want to be able to take that pressure off of myself and like tell you the mental steps I've taken to like detach my worth from <laughs> how I look and how my space looks. I mean, I'm gonna go a lot more into it later, but let me show you how my apartment normally looks <laughs> and just be really honest and this is like why I find it so hard to just pick up the camera and just film. I wish this wasn't the reality all the time, but it, it is and this is real life toddlerhood. If I'm gonna like free myself to create, I need to stop expecting it to be different. Even if my space looks amazing, it lasts overnight and then the next day it looks exactly like this again. And so I'm just gonna put it all out there. Here it is. Rosalie just... And this is my pile. I know we all have that pile of clothes that are worn, but not ready to be washed, but not, but you're just too lazy to fold them and put them away. This is like so real. And I'm just exposing myself, all the crafts. I mean, the bathroom's generally pretty clean, but like dominoes everywhere. And this is like a huge trigger for me, the island. Um. And I honestly like will leave the dishes for two, sometimes even three days. Like I'll clean up a majority of the mess I'm about to make some macaroni and chiz. <laughs> um, there's my broccoli, but like I honestly struggle so much when the place looks like this. And I'll just clean like the surfaces and then keep the dishes in the sink. Normally like this is what I tackle in the mornings because by the end of the day, I don't have energy. I just don't. Here it is guys, like this is just how it is. And I think one of my biggest like things with YouTube, one of my biggest things is just truly, I hate how people convey this perfect life. Like some people really do stay on top of it. I don't know how. I'm gonna talk a lot more about this later once I feel like I'm fueled for the day. I'm very hungry right now. And I have a good day plan. I'm gonna go get my nails done later. I'm really excited. But the past couple days during my nightly and morning routine of journaling, I have unveiled so many limiting beliefs. I've been trying to like figure out what it is that's keeping me feeling so stuck. Something has kept me feeling so stuck lately and I haven't been able to pinpoint exactly what it is But it's me attaching my worth to things that don't hold any intrinsic value or morality They're just <laughs> pieces of life and so I'm gonna talk about those in a little bit So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are excited because I'm excited to share
Take it off? Yes, I want to take it off now. Let's get our nails did. Let's go. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going pink for Valentine's Day. Super excited. It's freezing. Oh, can't hear me, can ya? That's because I accidentally bumped the gain dial on the back of my external mic. So here I am explaining how I shouldn't go to TJ Maxx or Home Goods because this happens every single time. I just find everything I love and I can't leave without it, but it's okay. It happens to the best of us. So I picked out a few things that um, I was not expecting to fall in love with these pillows for sure. They're kind of weird, but they have like these tan flecks in them. And if you guys watched the previous vlog about how I was mad, about how Zach made us get a tan couch, well, I thought this would the perfect was the perfect tie-in piece. And since you still can't hear me, <laughs> this is why I love having a little girly girl because she gets just as excited as I do about shopping trips and new paintings and pink velvet boxes and pink fingernails as I do. <laughs> so she wanted pink fingernails too and had to admire my little self-care moment. And she was confused about why I had a naked girl painting, but art because art. Here I'm just showing you where that large painting is going to be hung and where my naked girl painting is going to be hung. So cute! <gasps> Rosalie, what's our oven for? She said, is that our oven for chicken nuggets? <laughs> Um, so here I am working on dinner because now that I'm done with lunch, you know, it's on to the next meal. Does anyone else feel like they're just cooking and cleaning all day long? It just never ends, does it? I'm making cheesy ham and potato soup. This is like the best soup you'll ever eat ever in your whole entire life. And yeah, it takes forever to chop up everything and all that, but it's totally worth it. it makes my stomach so happy every time very cheesy I wish I could share the recipe with you guys but this is not my recipe to share so yeah just enjoy the delicious views I suppose I'm just winging it in the car here. I don't know how exactly this video is gonna come across and I don't know what I'm gonna say for sure. Not that I always plan what I'm gonna say, but this is gonna be difficult. So when I started YouTube, I was a different person than I am now. And I know everyone can probably relate to that. You're just always changing. I mean, I started YouTube like almost three years ago, mostly I set up with the intent for documentation, and then I realized that you, you could make YouTube a career, and then I wanted to uh, inspire people with health and fitness, and kind of 
show people the importance of like what you eat and like how it affects your body because it really does and i do believe that but not all of us have the mental space to meticulously plan everything we're gonna eat based off of how it's gonna affect your body it has a lot to do with your upbringing and what you know and believe to be true about food but i'm not gonna talk about that at all today i don't know why that came up but i started youtube because i thought well, I know I have something to offer the world. I know I just have, a, not right now, but I've always been the kind of girl who has a vibrant light and positivity inside of her. But I am not that person right now, if I'm being completely honest. I haven't felt this low since I was postpartum with Rosalie, and I just wasn't getting any sleep. She was waking up like eight times every single night. Um, and I was struggling. I was in a really dark place. I don't know. I don't really want to talk about that, but that's like the lowest I've ever been. And I'm feeling pretty, pretty close to that right now. I don't know what is going on. I don't know why, why I'm feeling this way. Mostly just this year has been really hard and the circumstances have dulled Oh my god, I didn't want to cry. And I know a lot of us are probably there. This year has kicked the shit out of us. Wow, I did not think I was going to cry. Anyway, I'm okay. Like, everything's going to be fine. I just, I know that. I have really, really strong faith. Oh, there's someone next to me. <sighs> I have really strong faith and I know everything is going to be fine. And I know I'm exactly where I'm meant to be. At all times, I, I'm one of the kind of people who believe that everything happens for a reason and that I'm just, I'm exactly where I'm meant to be at every moment. And I really do believe that, but it doesn't make this year suck any less. I just, I don't have space to express myself anymore. I'm just, oh man, it's been so hard. I don't know how to handle feeling this way because I've never felt this way for any amount of time like I've just always been such a positive person and I realized that I'm actually I've been taking part in toxic positivity trying to pretend I'm feeling a certain way when I'm just not and trying to like inflict and force positivity is toxic like I have to give myself space to feel these emotions, and so I guess that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. I'm not giving up on YouTube or anything like that, but I need to give myself space to just like realign myself with why I'm passionate about YouTube, which is because I want to help moms. I want to help moms to stop putting so much pressure on themselves and love every piece of yourself like oh my god I need to pull it together <laughs> I also think it just sucks ass that I don't have any friends here and I can't I just feel so alone like I just don't connect with anybody anymore that's really hard too I have to go in the store so I gotta try not to keep doing this I might be just giving myself a month to just not think about YouTube all I think about is YouTube. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, because it's a part of my purpose here on Earth. But there's a lot of pressure that goes with that. Why can't I get myself together? Oh my goodness. I'm not the most articulate individual. And it's something I'm working on. And I've also realized a lot of limiting beliefs that I have um, that's holding me back right now. Now that I've identified them, it's a part of my purpose. I know that. So some of the hardest things that we go through it's because there's a reason you're going through it because it's attached to your purpose some of the hardest things we go through is because the lesson in it is our message to the world and how we're supposed to offer to other individuals help so something I've been struggling with a lot hold on I need to take a breath I have been attaching my worth to worldly things and one of my biggest limiting beliefs that I'm, like I've known there's something, like what is it that's holding me back? I don't even know. It's my small apartment, my small, messy, chaotic apartment. And the mess never ends, you guys. Like we live there, <laughs> there's always dishes. There's always toys everywhere. It's like 900 square feet. So 
And that's, that's our space. That's all we have right now. What was I saying? Um, okay, so yeah. The world tells women and moms, and this is like such a subconscious, subliminal message that we've gotten our whole lives, that we're supposed to attach our worth to our ability to serve others, and <laughs> our appearance, and the way we can keep a home. Let me read this entry from my journal because I'm much more articulate when I can write. One of the quickest routes to unhappiness is dwelling on vanity, but social media and the culture surrounding it tells me I should value my appearance more than anything else. I spend so much time scrolling thirsty for encouraging mamas and like-minded individuals, but I'm just flooded with more pointless thirst traps. The fitness industry has had me so far sucked into, into beliefs that I never wanted, nor did I realize I had gradually acquired. Yes, my results were fantastic and weightlifting is and forever will be my favorite outlet, but living an aesthetic life is not going to bring me or most people happiness. I've had a lot of meditating to do on the things the world says I should attach my worth to, but I get to decide that for myself. My worth goes far beyond this meaty flesh bag where my soul lives. <laughs> and the glistening of the countertops in which it dwells. I'm a child of God. This reality is temporary and I'm here for a reason. And that reason is love. So I've always told myself that my why for YouTube is just love. <laughs> I'm like, oh, but that's such a like vague, vague description of my why. But that's my why. To share love. And I've always believed that my spiritual gift is encouragement. So that's why I just felt called to be on YouTube, to encourage moms. And other women who are struggling too, not just moms, but. So let me read another entry that I think you guys will like. I don't know, I've just literally never wanted to give up so bad. And but the thing is, I don't want to give up ever because I just know. I have a knowing inside of me that I can help people. It doesn't have to be a bunch of people, it can be a few women. Like, I just want community and mutual encouragement and, yeah, I don't know. Whew, I am feeling much better. Oh my. I'm feeling much better now that I got that off my chest. I feel lighter. And I know things are going to get better. Obviously, it's just a season. I'm sure a lot of us are in this season because this pandemic! sucks and I can't wait to connect with people again like face to face oh so to sum up what I was saying earlier I'm no longer going to connect my worth to my ability to keep my apartment spotless because that really has nothing to do with my work okay this is the entry I wanted to read you are a beautiful soul what do you think it is that's holding you back from sharing your happiest self unhappiness, discontentment at my core. I can pretend I love living here, but I just fucking don't. <laughs> so talk about it, bitch a little, and show the shit show that is apartment living with a toddler and a husband who doesn't contribute. Cause he doesn't, and I'm not like trying to, it's okay, he literally is so busy with work and he's still a student, like he goes to school still, so I'm not trying to like point fingers at Zach because he's an amazing man. I refuse to take sole responsibility for our living environment or tell myself that a mess reflects or means poor character or unhappiness. Maybe the mess could actually mean more happiness. Embracing it could actually make 2021 much more lovely if I just embraced the chaos. Mess has no morality attached to it, so why should we, as women, attach our worth to something so frivolous? That's just one of my little journal entries. If you guys want more on this, if you have TikTok, you have got to follow this account. Her name is at Domestic Blisters and she talks about this a lot and just talks about managing a household without like expecting perfection and that's like what you see on youtube a lot of the time and it drives me crazy <laughs> but like if you can do that that's great for you that's freaking awesome 
but I am not, that's just not me. I don't, I don't keep a spotless apartment every hour of the day because I don't have it in me right now because that shit is never ending. And that's okay because care tasks are just a part of existing and I have to take care of my space and I do. We don't live like disgusting. I don't know. These are just some of the things I've been struggling with lately and I thought it would be of value to speak it and <laughs> offer you some freedom within yourselves if this is something that you struggle with too. You are more than your care tasks and you are more than the things that you can check off your list. Your worth goes so far beyond that and I just hope you know that. Stop putting so much pressure on yourself and just just love yourself. I struggle with it so much because I love a clean space. That's like my biggest thing. I, I love when the, when the apartment looks nice because that's how I prefer it. Um, and so that's why I struggle so much to let it go. But right now in this season of life, I have to say it. Like I cannot cling to it any longer because it's killing me. So if I show up on YouTube, I'm not, I'm not offering you perfection. I'm offering you reality and I hope you're here for it because if you're not, see ya. Yeah, so I gotta go into the store and get some coffee. Oh man, this was like a therapy session so thanks for coming and listening to me. Appreciate you. Um, if you struggle with this and you feel similarly, which I'm, I know I'm not the only one. This is society has conditioned us to believe some of these things. So it's not just me. If you could, just say here, down in the comments, leave a heart. Um, I want to know where my friends are at. <laughs> so if you're one of my friends, say hi. Because clearly I need some friends right now. But I still have hope. I always hold on to hope. Because I'm just, I have faith. I always do. But that doesn't make anything less hard. So I'm just saying, you can be faithful filled and still full of hope but also defeated in the same moment it just is a crazy balance life is crazy sometimes especially this year like what the fuck? okay i gotta go inside but thanks for listening and if i don't end the video when i get home i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that sharing my problems and my struggles can help you in some way i really do Okay. Bye. Oh. So cheeseburgers. Can you say Happy Valentine's Day? Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. He is sleepy. Say subscribe. Subscribe. Say give this video a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. What else do you want to say? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Good night.